A frequently asked question that I get from young people is when do I have to get off my parents' health insurance? We're gonna address that today. If you're watching this, you might be a young person wondering if you're about to get kicked off your parents' plan or wanting to plan for when you do get kicked off your parents' plan, or you may be a parent wondering what will happen when your child gets can no longer qualify to be on your health insurance plan. So we're gonna talk about that today. So I'll be straightforward. Every state has slightly different rules on how they handle young people aging off of their parents' plans. Generally, well, and like, let's use Florida as an example, which is my home state. Florida pretty much allows you to stay on your parents' plan until you're 26 years old. There are some states that have, they take into consideration whether the person is a full-time student or not. Some look at marital status, there's all different rules. But if you stay till the end of the video, I'll let you know how you can find out for your specific state what you can do and what the requirements are. So let's say you do age off your parents' plan or you're a parent and has a, you know, a child who's about to age off your plan. You wanna be prepared and have your next steps ready to go. So the first thing that you wanna know is that you typically can stay on the plan that you're on until the end of the month, at least of the, of the, um, of the month that you turn whatever the age is. So like in Florida, that would be 26. So if, you're, if you turn 26, let's say June 6th, you can generally expect that you'll be fine until the end of the month. But you really wanna start um, in that month, if not before, looking at what you're gonna do after that. So if you do age off your parents' plan, what that does is it triggers a qualifying life event where you can gain access to a marketplace plan or an Affordable Care Act marketplace plan, which is public insurance, and you have a 60-day window uh, during which that you, you can enroll. So even if it's not the open enrollment period where most people have to enroll in a marketplace plan, you get kind of like an exception in special enrollment because you had a qualifying life event, which is losing your, your health coverage through your parent. So you have a 60-day window to enroll. So one of the things about the marketplace is that they don't um, they don't ask you any medical questions. There's no underwriting. Medi um, ACA plans, Affordable Care Act plans, they've got to cover certain things. They have to pay benefits on mental illness. They have to um, not do any underwriting as far as ask you medical questions to see if you're medically qualified. And so pretty much they take everybody. They've got to give free preventative. And a lot of times those plans have a little bit more limited networks and are not going to cover you outside of the local area where you live, where you get the plan. So if you travel outside to another state, it might not be the best fit for you. Another option, if you're young and healthy, is to consider an underwritten PPO plan. And I do really, really well with these, um, with this group of people aging off their parents' plan with these underwritten PPO plans. Because people that are at this age, they tend to be on the healthier side. They don't take a lot of medication. They just haven't had the time to have a lot of health scares and, and or, or develop pre-existing conditions, generally speaking. And so a lot of times they can save money paying a lot less on their monthly premium and not have to sacrifice the quality um, where, where if they were on the marketplace, they might not have the quality of coverage because they don't have as much access to doctors and hospitals. So if you're young and healthy, this may be an option too. And, and really there's so many options and it could be very confusing, especially if you're doing it for the first time and your parent has always handled your health insurance enrollment and you just had to know what your copay was. I get so many of those, I call them kids because well, I'm a lot older than them now, but um, I, I love to teach and I really love to walk people through and train them on how it works so that they can be empowered consumers and be able to one day make the decision for their own family. So if you find yourself in this situation and you're thinking what you're gonna do when you get off your parents' health plan or if this is applies to one of your children, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you and it's free of charge. Luckily, the insurance companies pay me very well so that you don't have to. And I'll guide you step by step 
um, on really what to do and, and put together a good strategy for you moving forward, whether it's taking your employer plan if you have a job or if you're gonna be self-employed, figuring out individual health coverage for you or if you're starting a family. I really love to grow with my clients and, and, and I love as watching them grow their families and building businesses and you know expanding their team. I help you all the way through. And so remember when I said at the beginning that I would tell you how it works in your specific state. Well, I don't really have time to do that in that in this video, but if you reach out to me free of charge, I will go over that with you. I'm licensed in 30 states, and if I'm not licensed in one of the states that you live, I will refer you to an amazing person. I will leave you better than I found you. So reach out to me at alexthehealthagent.com and also on Instagram at alexthehealthagent.